<laughs> this is my place, by the way. Yes. Knock, knock. Hola. Auntie John. Lock and gate. Hello, Auntie John. Hello. This is my aunt, guys. This is Daniel. Always double bless. Henry. Auntie Chona. Brian. Auntie Chona. Double bless always. Charlie. And Auntie Chona. I've never brought any friends to my house before. So, so wrong excited ako. Oh, everybody. Yeah! Yeah! Mm, Timmy. Asia, my favorite. <laughs> and my other favorite. <laughs> my other cousin. <laughs> oh, I was like, I wanted them to show uh, where I grew up. First things first, I just want to know because you brought uh, Miko up to Bata. How uh, si Miko up Bata? Maldito. As may kaya sa gamay pa siya, gusto kaya niya maligo dito sa Taytayan. Uh, it's true. Wala ni Shea Brief. Balahilak siya. Right. Yeah. Yakin. Yakin sa Tagalog. No more, no more, no more stories. It's embarrassing. Anyways, guys, well, we can stay in these three rooms, and um, tomorrow I'll take everybody out on a tour. Uh, just here, there, and over there, and over there somewhere. I was born in Canada, and when I was one year old, me and my brother, we went to live in Bohol. From one year old to seven, uh, we stayed there sa Bohol. Kasi naghiwala yung tata at yung nanay ko. And it was you know, my lola and my lolo and my aunts and uncles who took care of us. We have always had a uh, Philippine cultured uh, life in childhood namin. So we're very Filipino, even though I don't look very Filipino. I'm Michael, Canadian and partly Boholano. I came to the Philippines in 2008. What started out as a vacation, well, turned out to be something else. Na iba ang lahat when I met these guys, Brian, Henry, and Charlie, who are all half British, and Daniel, who's half Irish, who are actually on a quest. Nagsimula kami online, filming our experiences around the Philippines para matutunan ang kulturang Pinoy. And now, through our cameras, we'll continue our journey to one direction. So, I'm gonna push everybody off this bridge so they can legal na kasi so wrong mabaho. Legal na kami sa dagat. One of the first things that we tried was um, jumping off the bridge kasi si Miko sinabi na sinabi niya before that that's one thing he used to do as a child. Right, we're just about to jump. There's the lads. There's the bridge. Right, let's go. Charlie, you start it. I'm, I'm gonna go let's do this. Go, Three, two, two one, one, jump! Three, two, one, we all jump at the same time. But I knew in the back of my mind that Daniel, because I'm planning si Daniel constantly, always planning Daniel. And then she, and Henry has a fear of heights and things. The older I've got, the more scared I've got from doing things. And I bet you didn't even look that high on camera. Look the height, man. Yeah! Oh, no. Whoa, come on, Why did I jump the bridge? I don't know, man. I just woke up, tapos. Um, I'm not really afraid of the height. It's just more the, you know, you know, it looked really strong, the current. And I just didn't feel like jumping at the time. We split into Delawang teams. Okay, let's go. Me and Daniel. Ako, Chaka si Charlie and Henry. Um, hunting for sea urchins. When That's when you catch the sea urchins. Uh, you can get shots of a lot. We were taught by Koya Fortunato. He told us the method like you have a net, then you have a stick, my stick, then dun dun dun. Let's go there. Onwards. Iceberg. Working with Daniel for the fishing. One, it's kind of hard because all he does is he's kind of laughing, he's just playing. Aye, double speed. Yeah. Yeah. 
As you can see, Daniel's being useless, as always. Whatever, I, I cast <laughs> that half He's playing in the net. water while I'm working. I cast that half the net. He's clearly not a fisherman. This guy untangling it. Not a fisherman. He doesn't know the real technique, Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, oh, I'm going to get myself a sea urchin here, mate. <laughs> so as I see, we're on the goggles. So I'm going to put my head down here like this. We was catching it with a net. I'm just grabbing it, trying to catch it. But there was only one net, so I decided to use my chinelas. And like I grab it and just pull it up, put it on. So the chinelas these days can be used as any kind of tool. Yeah. You can use it for your feet, to say the sun, my inip young sand, so it's um sunuk young uh uh. But uh you can also use it for catching sea urchins. So excited. Of course I'm not so ready. Look at that one! That was a real thing of there. It's a real thing <laughs> Wow, this is odd. Whoa! <laughs> At first, I thought we were going to catch maraming fish, but halfway through, it's like, oh, we're not going to catch anything. And then when those, when the crab and the fish came up, I was like, yes, so brang saya ako! Because we actually caught something after a while. We only caught like two crabs. I think they were mating. Poor crabs, man. <laughs> we caught some, and then of course, na mag matikman kami yung sea urchin, because everyone says it tastes good and that it's a pollutant for if you're drinking. Mmm, looks tasty. Nah, Heather, what are you doing? You gotta shake the things off. I didn't shake them. They didn't come off me. Got there like that. It's actually okay, man. Much better than durian. Oh, oh, go. I know what it's go. like as well. Mmm. Well, it's not bad, actually. After we were collecting the sea urchins, I saw uh, Daniel and um, Miko out there, so I, and, I, and I have my underwater camera. So I wanted to swim out and uh, film some shots with them. We're living the dream, guys, and then. Well, like five minutes later, this water goes really shallow. And we're having sea urchins, and then we all get start getting stung. It's like, ah, ah, ah. Well, I'm like holding on to the boat. <laughs> Henry's trying to get on. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Daniel's wearing the goggles in his face. Like, <gasps> like that it is. And then all of a sudden, the dream became a nightmare. This is what happens when you have a sea urchin scare. Charlie over here. <laughs> Nobody wants to step in the sea. You have Brian over here. <laughs> There's sea urchins everywhere. It's like a minefield, a man. So wrong. Shocked at Takut. <laughs> Because the water is about like that high, and there's sea urchins there. They're like, oh, please, no, it hurts. Here's Captain Charlie leading the charge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you can see, I'm going to be the cannibal. Come on! You're using us! Yeah. Oh, we're not in the ground anymore. Good job, good job. Woo. That is how a true cannibal works. <laughs> One, two. Yeah! What the f